Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 5 of our Let's Play series on Grounded. Last episode, we got the marker completed at the Great Oak Tree. It was up on some little tower thing. Come across it totally by chance, but I'm quite sure I've found it and got it done. So now I know how to complete these markers. We do have another one at Rake Rock Point, as we can see in the top left there. Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea where that is yet. I've not fully explored this map. We've, um, we've pretty much stayed in this little area here. We've ventured off this way once, not gone this way at all. And that's where the lab is by the big tree, by the big great oak tree. Um, but rather than going on a proper mission exploring, I'd really like to get my base a bit better established. Um, a, I'd kind of like a roof and a second floor. And B, it's quite hard to see, even though I've got it on this nice bit of high ground, I've got all this grass around me. So I think what I want to try and do today is I want to clear cut this area, get rid of all the grass so it's a bit clearer. I'll have a bit of open ground here, make my building two story, get some lights on it, and then it's going to be a little bit of a beacon. Um, so I'm just going to get cracking. All right, we're back. I've just done a good bit of chopping. I've, uh, I've not totally clear cut this whole area, but it's an awful lot better than it was. My house is a lot more visible. We've got this open area here. You can see out that way nicely towards the tree. Which also means from that side we're going to be able to see in. Um, so now I need to work on making this build just a little bit bigger and more, more purposeful. So we've got grass planks all over the place. We've got plenty of materials to use here. So I think we're going to get cracking. I'm going to do some extending, and I'll be back in a bit when I'm all done. Right, let's go get something to drink. Oh, bum. Cool. Oh. Oh, die, just die. Right, need to eat. Need to drink. Let's see what this is like. Guys, three of them? Oh, God, this is going to be interesting. God, he's having a good old munch on us. Um, we're not doing good here. We've only got one spear. Gonna die, gonna die. Can they climb up here? No. Oh no, he can. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Bugger. Oh dear. So we're back at base, guys. I went and got my stuff back, uh, but a few of those bugs were still around, so I had to kill them all. Luckily enough, they dropped an acid gland for me. So I've been analysed that, taken off another mission for Burgle, and I'm back here now. Doesn't look much different, but we do have a little bit of the base extension going on there. We see all the new floors ready to go in. Let's go ahead down for the night. Day two, I'm going to crack on with our base building, try and get the second floor done. Seems like only a couple of bits of grass here respawned, which is pretty cool. I wasn't sure how the respawning of the material, uh, resources were going to work. So let's smash all these floors out.
Oh, would you look at that? It's almost like I planned it. I've only got one spare. Brilliant. That's pretty cool. So there we have it. All oh, the floors done on that level. Let's um, get some more walls up. So that's the second floor of walls all blueprinted up. So now I've got to hack down load more trees again. Well, hack down load more grass again. So there we go, got some walls up on our second floor. Got a couple of hammers there still. We need to find some weed stems and finish the window frames off. And then we're pretty much done there. So let's prepare my axe again. Let's go find a dandelion, get some uh, weed stems. Oh, there you go. Didn't have to go far. Cool, so that's all, all our walls done, all of our windows. So let's just get the roof on and we can wrap this up. So there we go, guys. It's just come up to night time now. I think it's time to sleep. We've, uh, we've nearly got the base all done now. Um, I'm not happy with the odd. I was asymmetrical here, but there we go. Um, all we need to do is get our sloping roof tiles on. I'll show you. I'll shut the door. So all we've got is our slope roof tiles to do now. Got to go and hack down a load of clovers. But I think for now we're gonna we're just gonna have a quick snooze. Wait till daytime. Tiny Pete's ready for some tiny rest. Okay, it's a new day, and we need to hack lots of clover plants.
there we have it guys. We've got our sort of completed base going. Exterior wise anyway. Let's have a little tour. Got to reposition some of the stuff inside. Now it's a bit bigger. There we go. Two floors. A couple little windows. Check out a nice view. Just got to get some interior decoration done. Like I say, move a couple of bits and bobs about. Really love it if I could dig that clump of dirt out. Um, let's snuff the light off for now. So I think we'll put some more storage items in here. We'll move the bed up top. I have this whole area as the cooking area. There we go. That's, that's pretty cool so far. Uh, I do want to build a couple more of these torches. Decor. Plant lamp. Need some sap. I think I'd quite like, I'd like a couple outside the door. And I think we're also going to put one, one up here. I'll we'll put one down here. So a little um, stairway is all lit up. Needs a couple of sprigs. Let's grab them quick. So that's that one done. Get some more sprigs. Of course, they just need dry grass chunks. And I think this one we're going to dismantle. Do we have any dry grass chunks? That's what that is, isn't it? Dry grass chunks, yes. Turn them on so they're always on, so the front of our house is lit up. I don't like this bit's hanging over, so let's just see if we can plonk a scaffold in underneath it. And we can. That's cool. Still, we have some weed stems still. Did we use them all? I think we used them all. So that dandelion still over here. Yep. That's better. At least it looks like it's properly supported now. So we've got our pallet for grass planks. I think it'd be rude if we didn't make a pallet for the um, weed stems as well. So let's just get one of them in here quick. Log pallet. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? Super jump. Let's put it there, because then we've still got a bit of a walkway here if we want it. So what's that need? Dry grass chunks, pebblets, two sprigs, four woven fibre. Two, three, four. And two sprigs. Cool. So I'm going to chop some of this grass down, clear some of the area up, tidy it up a bit, and then I'm going to work on the interior. Cool. This is starting to look like something now. 
Got a nice little clear cut area. Another weed stem. Cheeky. Is that one? No. So let's get some interior lights going. Decor sconce. Probably want one on that wall. I won't let me put it there. Um, might want one on that wall. If I put that there, it's going to light up the stairway. Put one over here. No idea what these are going to be like. So what do I need? Is it sap? I need sap, dry grass and sprigs. Got any more sap? A little bit more dry grass. A sprig. Let's see what we've got in these. No. So we need some sap. Now I'm pretty sure there's a fallen branch down this way. Keep them lit. Yeah. It's got a couple of bits of sap on it. Not much, but I'll get a little bit at least. If I remember right, those lights said they only needed one sap for each one. So I might be able to get them all, all down with that little bit I've got there. Oh, look, there's some rust planks. Let's take them with us. Just like that one as well, so we want them a little bit of time at night. And we'll turn these off for a moment. Yeah, only one sap for each one of them. Don't know why sprig was on the floor. Let's grab a couple more sprigs, and then we can get everything done. That one here. Got three more lights to do, so it's just three more sprigs. Let's get an extra one just in case. I think I saw another weed stem here, a grass plank, get all this tidied up and stacked up. Okay, that's full. So that light's all done. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I still haven't got the dry grass. So you still need sprigs and dry grass. Okay, looks. Dry grass is easy. Sprigs, don't forget the sprigs, Matt. Sprigs. I think it's using two sprigs per torch, and I thought it was only using one. I did see those planks, I'm gonna go get them. Just getting a couple more sprigs. So it'll be interesting to see if after the next time I log off whether these ones on top are going to stay there or not. I'm not sure whether they're going to, um, they're going to despawn. Still haven't quite clicked on to that mechanic for this game yet. Cool. So we've got torches above and below deck. Let's move our lean to. up here. Kind of where the bedroom should be. Oh, where should we put it? There, so it's just nice and out of the way.
set respawn point. Cool. What time are we on? So we just make another couple of bits here. Meal prep. Smoothie station. Mushroom garden. Duclet. So we can't build that, so we need spider silk. Smoothie station sounds pretty cool. I know we've got some bits for that. That's a sprigs, one acorn on top, and five grub goop. Oh, I've got ten grub goop. Brilliant. I didn't think we had much goop. Shimmer healing items. Is there any free items to craft a delicious smoothie? I don't really think I've got the sort of stuff you can make anything to drink out of. No. Grubert. Hey, look at them. Cool, okay, so that's something we can have a play with at some point. So there we go, guys. Just as the sun's starting to set, we've got our base pretty much sorted now. I'm quite happy with it. We've, um, we've almost clear-cut this bit of land here. So we've got this nice bit of clear land in front of our house. We're not all blocked in by all the grass. We've got a little storage pallets on the side there for all our materials. Everything's tidied up now. We've got over here our little stairway going up and down to a little research lab. We've got lights at the top and the bottom of the stairs so we can see it in the dark. We've got lights out the front of the house. Then if we just have a little guided tour. Not fully done with the interior yet, but we're getting there. Now we've got a smoothie station as well as our roasting spit. Workshop and storage is unchanged, but we do have some lights inside now. So we can get all lit up. And we've got second floor. Also got some lights in. There we have it. We've got a nice little view out the front here. You can see the great oak tree, laser, and the mysterious machine. I think if we go out the back, we've got a nice little view of the baseball. I like the starting area. Reset station stairs down there. Ugly view of grass. So, that's it for another episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, no real exploring or, or figuring out of anything sort of game wise was done, but I'm, I'm really happy we've got a bit more of a solid base going now. Um, is actually a little bit embarrassing just having the walls up with no roof or anything. So we've got a full on little base now. We don't have like security walls or perimeter fences or anything, but I'm quite happy that we're in a pretty safe area here. We're not going to get attacked. Um, we do actually have the blueprints of the sturdy stuff, sturdy door, wall and window. So if we need to, we can build some more rugged, um, more rugged bits of base. But I don't think we need to. I think we're alright at the moment. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.